done have you done any work with regards to that transition where children lose those childish things and that's when they're they're starting to be aware of the fact of what's happening to them it is something paranormal do you mean that i've worked with children who were one studies yes are, are not a, i mean children are little sponges and they're actually Working with children in hypnosis are the best subjects to work with uh, teenagers and children because they're the most suggestible, meaning they're more likely to soak in those hypnotic suggestions more so than any other age group. Uh, because the children really they they learn and and um, really function in life and, and deal with life in their imagination and imaginative play, and so. Uh, I think it's really the transition happens when they are start to be taught that it's something to be afraid of, that they see adults afraid of it when they're um, because they're such little observers and more so than we think they are. And when the fear happens, I, I do believe in, in most cases is when they watch others become afraid and therefore they are, they are taught, they learn to be afraid. Um, but then, you know, there are some scary incidents for children where it's just naturally frightening for them and they don't need to be taught that. It's a scary experience. Um, but for kids, and that's why I love working with them so much, is... Uh, it, their imagination plays so much into their world and how they adapt to the world that I think a lot of times those experiences become just another play world in their, in their imagination. And again, they don't know nat naturally to fear it um, until right. it's brought to an adult or they witness uh, adult's reaction or somebody else's reaction to be fearful of it. And that's one of the things that we've seen time and again on, on several of the different shows out there where the investigation is had at a residential uh, location and the parents uh, are just terrified of what's going on. So then one of the things to do is to talk to the children and they're almost regurgitating the same things that the parents were telling them mm -hmm. uh, because they can't articulate what it is that they're experiencing. You know, they're. Mm -hmm. And I've done residential cases in the past. I know Ken's done scores of residential cases where sometimes the kids are just like, well, no, that's my imaginary friend. Or yeah. it, it, It's harmless to them until they have been programmed to fear what it is that they're experiencing. Is that right? Exactly.